Well, it's so great for you to join us again uh, this, uh, on this day, our midday, daily midday reading from Monday to Friday. At midday, we're reading from 2 Chronicles 7.14. And with me today is a very, very special friend of mine, Pastor Rose Roder. She's the visionary leader of Word of Life Church in Fishhook, South Africa, one of the greatest nations in the world. Rose, so <laughs> you joined me today. Thank you, Bernard. Great to be online with you. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, uh, we've been so blessed by uh, Rose's prophetic ministry. I can't even remember how long ago you came to Christ Church and, and spent... 2012. 2012. Well, that's yes. eight years ago. I think you're due for a visit um, again. I think so. Rose was so well received by our church family, and we often speak about her and, uh, and the, the, the anointing that's on her life prophetically, um, and has shifted a lot of things in a lot of people. So Rose, just take a moment and tell us, are uh, you guys are also in lockdown. Um, what's life like for you? What's keeping you busy? What's keeping you sane during this crazy time? <laughs> <laughs> well, the lockdown in South Africa is extremely strict. Uh, up until the 1st of May, we're still in um, level five. Level five, it means you're not allowed to walk your dogs beyond your gate. You're not allowed to walk on the beach yeah. or the forest. You have to stay on your property. Yeah. And uh, only one member of your family is allowed to go to the shops. You can't go shopping as couples, nor can you take a child with you. Wow. Um, but at the end of the day, it's really brought families together. And uh, it's actually been a very special time. And, and, but what keeps you busy? I know you do an online ministry every morning, South African time, 10 o'clock. But I look behind you, you've got some amazing artwork. Is that you? Yes, that is my art. I must say that uh, I started painting on the 23rd of November, 2018. Yeah. Uh, I'm not trained in any way. And the Lord just said to me, he wants me to paint the two canvases that I bought for my husband. And because it had a stroke, he didn't get to paint them. Yeah. And so by faith, I started painting. And every painting, I stand back amazed and go, this could only be God because I can't hardly even draw a stick figure. It's all God. Wow, Rose. Well, I know you've, you often post some of the pictures of your paintings. And uh, I'm, I'm always astounded and amazed at how God is using you in that creative way um, in your painting. And so are we gonna we're gonna read Thank you. two Chronicles seven fourteen today. And so I've asked Rose to read it, and then she's going to just share uh, one insight, one thought as the Holy Spirit prompts her to encourage every single person who's watching today. And so thank you so much, Rose. Right, let's read together two Chronicles seventeen verse fourteen. And you might know it very well, but it's always good to read it in its context again. It says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray mm -hmm. and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and heal their land. Fantastic. It's a very interesting script. It's a very interesting scripture, Bernard, and all those that are watching, because it's often misquoted, and people just read, "If my people are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, I will hear from heaven," and they totally gloss over uh, that we should humble ourselves and seek His face and turn away from wickedness. Mm -hmm. I believe that during this lockdown, God has given us an invitation to shut the door and to come into the face place of God. Mm -hmm. And it's a wonderful invitation because we're living in grace and his grace is sufficient. And as we close the door to begin to seek him in a new way, he's not only healing the land around us, 
He's healing the land inside of us. Yeah. He's healing the disappointments, the regrets, regrets, the anger and the stress. And he's bringing us into a place of a new day with new vision and excitement because we're living in an end time anointing. It's yeah. very precious scripture, this. If we will work it mm -hmm. in the fact that we need to behold him. Yeah. I love, I, you know, what resonated with me when you said we have to shut the door. Um, yes. And I think often in life we can get so complacent and desensitized to things around us uh, that we forget yeah. the part we have to play. And, uh, and so I love what you said about shutting the door. And I think so yeah. important that things that are not of God, we actually have to humble ourselves, deal with the, those yeah. things ruthlessly and shut the door and make sure it remains shut. Wow, yes. no, that was so great. And so, Rose, I'm, we're gonna take a moment and pray and, um, and, and please feel free. I know you're gonna pray for South Africa. I'm gonna pray for New Zealand, but I know we have a lot of people who watch from across the world. And so uh, we're gonna try, we'll cover all the nations in our powerful prayer. And so I want to uh, ask you to lead us in prayer and then I will pray after you. Sure. Uh, Bernard, at the end of us praying, will you just give me a little space just to say something over the church community that you are leading Absolutely. in Christ Church? Absolutely. Right, let's pray. Father, we just thank you for the nations. Yeah. We just thank you, Father God, that your word says in Psalms that we are able to ask you for the nations as yeah. our inheritance. And so, Lord, we bring the nations before you today and we ask you, Lord, to just rain down your glory. That your word says that the glory of the Lord will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, even though the backdrop looks bleak, that this is the right canvas, the right time frame for revival. We ask you to revive us, O oh God. Revive us. Revive us on the inside and revive your body that we will stand up and be the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. We thank you for the first time that there is pressure a lot around the whole world mm. and that you are setting us up for a worldwide breakout mm. of your Holy Spirit. We yeah. thank you, Father. We thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Father God, I just thank you that uh, we can be in two different nations, but we can stand in faith and to pray for our nations, uh, South Africa, New Zealand, but also the nations of the world, Lord God. I pray that it, during this crazy period that the great exchange will take place. Lord God, that we will replace the, uh, replace the pride that's in our heart um, uh, and be humble before Almighty God. Lord, that we would get rid of us, the sin in our lives and replace it with your grace and with your love. Lord, I believe this is our moment and this is our time, Lord God, to, yes. to really have an inward look at our lives and the way we're living our lives. Because Lord God, when we repent and we ask for forgiveness, your word promises that healing would come uh, to our lands. And so Lord, we are people of faith. Our hope and faith and trust is in you and you alone, Papa God. And we pray this yeah. now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Rose, uh, Rose I just, I, I remember I mentioned to you that uh, our church family this past uh, weekend celebrated 20 years. Um, it was 20 years ago that we left South Africa and we, wow. uh, we moved to uh, New Zealand to pioneer and establish this apostolic center here. And so, I'd love for you to pray for our church family at a time like this. It would be great. Wonderful. Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you, Pastor Bernard and Colleen, and your wonderful physical family and your church family. I want to say congratulations to you for being there for the long haul. And many, uh, many 
go to other nations, but it's a very big transition. And 20 years, you almost feel like you're only just laying the foundation. I know that feeling. Because in the beginning, we used to ask the Lord, three years and let the church be established. Five years and let the church be established. Yeah. But it takes a long time. It's a life's call. And uh, when I was with you in 2012, the thing that stuck out the most for me was the way that God was using you in evangelism. It didn't matter who the speaker was, Bernard, would you be able to get up onto that platform at the end and say about three sentences and people would come forward for salvation. It's a grace anointing that's on your life. And it's not evangelism. It's an apostolic anointing that God has put on you that uh, enables you to go into a nation that's outside of your culture, pioneer, cut a pathway, and establish what you have established. And so I want to pray for your work and also just declare the word, the prophetic word over you. So, Father, I thank you right now yes, for Every Nation Christ Church. I thank you for Bernard and Colleen and the people that you have given them. The Lord would say, my son and my daughter in this last while, and the last while being the last seven years, I have been brought great adjustment to your gift and to your calling. I have put a strong, strong drawing on you to, uh, to build out of um, relationship with me and relationship with heaven mm -hmm. and, uh, and to move in the things of my Holy Spirit. So the Lord would say, well done, my son and my daughter. Uh, you have built a team, which I would call the A-team. And Father says, I want you to know that everything is set up. He said, no longer will you be a ministry in, uh, in lockdown or a ministry in hiding. For you have had to build in a time of obscurity. Many seasons were uh, seasons of obscurity. But Father says, now, as the physical doors open in your nation, so that your the ministry that I have given you will be extremely visible. You will be a light on a hill and no longer a light that is hidden. I will expand you on the left and the right and front and behind, and you're gonna come into a season of great celebration. Uh, the Father says, I want to remind you that the glory of the latter temple will be greater than the glory of the former. He says, I am coming speedily with a reward in my hand. You will see it with your own visible eyes as they will, there will be such growth and such increase. And that that you've asked of me, even in the secret place, to experience and walk in the supernatural is going to be one of the hallmarks of what I have called you to do. Watch and see what I will do in this next season, says the Lord, for it's your season of increase. You are moving out of the season of the ox anointing, which is to pull a plow and to, and to dig a furrow and to and to build a highway you're moving from that to uh, the anointing of the uh, 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 lion and the anointing of the eagle so you will be see from above as you are seated with me in heavenly places and the roar of the lion of the tribe of judah will be upon your ministry and they will come from the north the south the east and the west for they will be drawn to come to the household of faith one day in my court is better than a thousand elsewhere, says yeah. the Father. Yeah. So, Father, I thank you. I thank you for their faithfulness. I thank you that they've waited many seasons. I thank you now that there will be such an outbreak, such a breakout, such a divine reversal, such an outpouring and an inpouring, an outpouring from them and an inpouring of souls, mm. finance, expansion. Yes, Lord and increase mm -hmm. in jesus name i pray that this word will settle over them that they will wear it like a well-worn jacket that there'll be new mantles new scrolls scrolls new ministries yeah. and i thank you for them in jesus name amen amen bless you. receive that in Praise jesus God. name rose and uh um, I appreciate you and uh, be assured of our prayers for you and the, the you. grace and the calling and the anointing that's upon your life um, as you, you navigate your busy schedule and as God uses you in the nations of the world. So thank you for thank you. being with me today. And I know our people who are going to be watching are going to be truly blessed. 
No, we love you and God bless you. Thank Thanks, you. Rose. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Okay.